Thank you. I'm Mr. Lehner and welcome to Mr. Lehner's Math Extravaganza. Today, the purpose of this video is to explain a little bit about what these math videos are all about. These math videos are specifically designed for the CMP3 math curriculum. But even if you don't use the CMP3 math curriculum, a lot of these problems and topics that are covered can be very helpful in helping you learn topics that you'll cover within sixth grade. Let's take a look at what some of these topics are. Within sixth grade, you learn about the distributive property in some of these videos. Ratio, unit rate, decimals, percent, and equivalents are in there. Fractions and fact families, and I know sixth graders say everything to study is definitely fractions, right? Maybe not. Uh, but fractions are definitely in there. Variables, equations, expressions, relationships with tables, graphs, uh, and equations. So we take a look at tables, we look at graphs, we look at equations, we take a look at how variables go into those uh, as well. Mean, median, mode, range, and probability, factors and multiples, and not just how to find factors and multiples, but how I can actually use them in real life situations. And then area, perimeter, volume, and surface area. So one of the big differences in a lot of these videos is I'm not going to just show you how to solve problems. We call these procedures without connections. Let's use fractions, for example. If I show you how to divide fractions, and you have no idea what you're doing but just dividing out the fractions, you're not going to learn much with that. But if I show you how to divide fractions with a real life situation, well now there's more meaning into it. It's a connection. You can connect it to real life, and it can help you learn how to do certain things within math. Now, my favorite question that a lot of sixth graders will ask, Mr. Lehner, what am I ever going to need to use this or what am I ever going to have to do this in real life? Well, sometimes you know what? You might not have to do it in real life. And sometimes you may not know what you're going to need it in real life. But the nice thing about this, I'll show you a whole bunch of situations where you can use this in real life uh, and it will help make more sense to you as you go throughout the year in math. Now some of our units that we have, I have listed, listed on the side over here, our CMP3 units. So we start at the beginning of the year with prime time. Uh, then we go into comparing bits and pieces. Let's be rational covering and surrounding, decimal ops, variables and patterns, and the data analysis and probability. And again, this is just the title of each one of these units. And within each one of these units, there are little mini investigations that deal with specific problems that have to go with math. So for instance, if we're talking about prime time, one of the big things in prime time is, uh, or themes in there is factors and multiples. So you'll kind of see like, how do we work with factors and multiples? How do I apply this to an actual situation? So this math is definitely a little bit different than what you may be used to. One of the other big things that I'm going to be talking about this year is making mistakes. Now, you may not hear this often from teachers, but I love when students make mistakes. I love when students share the wrong answers. Now, you might be saying, well, Mr. Lanier, why do you want us to get the wrong answer? It's not that I want you to get the wrong answer, but sometimes the best way to learn in math, even if you understand it, is if you make a mistake. So let's say you understand a concept and a student comes up and shows a problem and you see where they get it wrong, that's actually making you smarter because you can see where the error is. And then that student that made the mistake might say, oh, hey, you're right, I didn't do that to that problem. Or I forgot to put the decimal here. I see where I made my mistake and I can learn from that. So share your wrong answers. In all these videos that you'll watch throughout the year, the ones that you will see, even I make mistakes, and I go over the problems, and I go over the videos, and I still say, ooh, I made a mistake there. I shouldn't have done that, or I shouldn't have said that. So teachers, your teacher, or if you have me as a teacher, we make mistakes too. We are human. And again, I love when students catch me making a mistake, because it means they're not just listening to everything I say, they're watching and actively seeing, well, hey, wait a second, Mr. Lehner, I think you might have made a mistake, and it's another way for us to have this as a learning opportunity. So as you go through these videos, the way that they kind of go through is we'll go through each unit. So if we're working on prime time, you'll see it labeled as prime time 1.1. It tells you it's the first unit and the first problem. And then that video will go with the lesson from that day. Uh, and within these videos, I will show you how to do a problem. And then the second part will be you at home doing the problem where I will ask you to actually pause uh, the video on YouTube there. And then I want you guys to solve it at home. So it's a way for you to see me solve a problem. It's a way for you to actually practice a problem at home. And the nice thing is there's a lot more ways to do problems than just one. So if I have one method up here and you have something totally different at home, that's perfectly fine too. Again, another way why we want to share uh, this different information is that a lot of times you might learn different things from other people. So 
I've been doing this for a while. And sometimes every year a student will say, well, what about this strategy? Does this work? And a lot of times they'll say, you know what? I don't know. I've never seen it done that way. Let's try it. And then it helps me actually learn a little bit too. So don't think just because uh, you're sixth graders that your ideas aren't going to be um, correct. Because sometimes a lot of times you guys have some really good ideas. So don't be afraid to share whether you think you're right or wrong. Don't be afraid to come up uh, and, like I said, discuss some of those answers. Uh, hopefully these videos will be helpful to you throughout the year. Again, they are designed to help you guys with certain math problems. Again, if you're struggling or if you miss a day at school, you can take a look at these videos to help you uh, learn that. Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Lanier's introduction to his math extravaganza. As always, we'll see you next time.